Hello my wonderful viewers and wonderful subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across any video on this channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification bell icon. So today again we are back on Mazi Namdekanu's case because the IPOB has revealed the real reason why the Nigerian government have refused to release Namdekanu. And if you check these reasons, you are going to know that yes, this is the major reason because if they need bail from Namdekanu, they will have stated it since. If they need um, Namdekanu to, to to go to and they will have stated it since. But the way they were, you know, trying to cover the case, doing a lot of things in the case, you you will know that this reason why this reason that IPOB really review and accuse the Nigerian government of is the main reason why they have been holding Namdekanu. So October 17 was the was the day that the appeal court asked Namdekano to come for the final judgment and throughout that yesterday we didn't hear anything from them understand i checked around no footage shows that Namdekano appeared in court Allah Ejimako did not state anything concerning the issue understand so the case still um, still postponed understand nothing was done yesterday and now the IPOB have reviewed something that this is what the Nigerian government wants Namdekano to do before they are going to release him. And it is true. They have, uh, the IPOB have accused the, the Nigerian government that what they want Namdekano to do is to drop and to um, this drop quest, you understand, for the Biafra nation. That Namdekano should just cancel anything that concerns Biafra nation, which is not possible. You understand? Nam, Namdekano and other Biafra architecture has been seeking for this Biafra nation to stand for a very long time. So you cannot just come all of a sudden and you know tell Namdekano to drop the quest um, for Biafra nation. It's not possible. Because I've been saying is that Namdekano did not do anything wrong. Yes, and even if the charge that they say is participating in terrorism act, if it's a normal if it's a normal charge and maybe Namdekano was found guilty. Namikano will have been released since this since 2021, 2022, 2023, and this is 2024. Just two months now will be in 2025. Namikano is still in the hands of DSS. So the IPOB have now seen that they have done left, done right. Namikano have appeared in court, even when Namikano sees that Justice Bin Tanyako is treating the case in a biased way. He now asks Justice Bin Tanyako to rescue herself from the case. And few um, this thing hours later, the federal high court, um, the federal high court sent Justice Bin Tanyako back to Nam the that she's that she's the one that they assigned to you know to undo the case. So if Nam the Kanu is if found guilty and it is something they want to give Nam the Kanu bail, they will have done it since. And Nam the Kanu is free. But this reason that the um, IPOB review that what they want is that they want Namikano to drop anything consigning the Biafra nation, that Namikano should just cancel the Biafra nation. That's what they want before they release Namikano. And it's true. If Namikano should do such a thing right now, you see Namikano is going to be a free man because the federal government is against all these agitators. Yes, the federal government is against all these agitators. And I'm saying this because. You know, the Yoruba nation also want to stand and even the Northerners are trying hard to see that the, you know, Prof. Luga stated it outrightly that the Northerners must prepare for possible separation. No problem. If you are joining the architecture, just be careful and they should, you should not enter the hands of the DSS because the federal government is against all these architecture. So, the same Biafra that the um, IPOB accused uh, sorry, the same issue that IPOB accused the Nigerian government that the Nam the Kanu is that they want Nam the Kanu to drop quest for Biafra Nation. Take a look at this video, the live video that some prominent figures in the UK have a live section with Simon Ipa stating how they will seek and how they are going to you know put ends and what they are going to do when the Biafra um, Nation. Um, date approach, you understand, which is the December 2nd of this year. So, I want you guys to watch this live section that they had with um, Simon Ipa. After watching it, then share your opinion in the comment section. And I hope you got the first part, you understand, where I stated everything outrightly 
on why Namikanu the IPOB review why Namikanu is still in the hands of the DSS up to now. It is because they want Namikanu to drop quest. You understand? Drop anything concerning Biafra Nation that Namikanu should end it, which is not going to be possible. And also, um, this in Baika Ojuku came out to state it earlier that if they should release Namikanu, there will be a lot of improve in security in Nigeria. But yet, the federal government has failed to, to listen to that. Even President Bola Ahmed Tinubu hasn't said anything because a lot of top politician has asked Bola Ahmed Tinubu to, put, to talk into the matter. But yet, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu still remains mute. He hasn't said anything concerning the case. So that is that for that. I want you to observe this video so that you see how the, some prominent figure in the United States, you understand, are actually supporting the Biafra and, you know, what they have planned to do and what they have in mind for the Biafra. So I want you guys to watch the video and after watching the video, try to share your opinion in the comment section. And please, don't use hate speech in the comment section because any hate speech comment is going to be deleted so that you not feel embarrassed or you not feel you're not part of the Cineros 247 family. Please, if you want to express yourself, you can express yourself without using insultive words. So thank you for complying. And thank you for supporting the channel. I really appreciate. So watch the video and have a nice day ahead. Well, thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, my name is Jim Moran. Uh, I served in the United States Congress uh, for approximately a quarter of a century. After I left the Congress, uh, I began to uh, represent some corporations and countries and causes that I believe in. Uh, it has been uh, an honor to work with you, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, Elias Garasoulis uh, is my partner. Uh, this is uh, primarily uh, uh, Elias's uh, account, but uh, I'm going to be working with him. Um, while I was in the Congress, I uh, was on the committee that funds defense and State Department foreign operations, as well as the Foreign Relations Committee. I have an interest in Africa. I was a principal uh, co-sponsor of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. But most importantly, I do believe that um, uh, Biafran independence uh, is a uh, just and noble cause. Uh, and I trust that you have a bright future ahead. We will try to uh, secure your independence. Uh, we can't promise because the politics is not a particularly uh, predictable situation in the United States today, and justice is not all we serve, but we will work towards that objective. Um, I, uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, to work on behalf of the Biafran people, and at this point, let me turn it over to Elias. Elias? Oh, thank, thank you, Jim, and it's an honor to be working with you on this, and we appreciate your your lending, uh, your support, someone of your prestige and stature, uh, that that association would be so critical. So thank you, Jim, I, I appreciate it. And thank you, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, your excellencies and dear Biafrans in the United States and around the world. Uh, my name is Elias Yersoulis and I uh, am a good friend and a colleague of a Congressman Moran and we are your new lobbyists here in Washington, DC. Uh, however, you should know that we are more than just your lobbyists. We are fellow freedom fighters and the struggle for the liberation by Africa. And similar to how your compatriots and the by African defense forces are securing your freedom on the homeland, we will be fighting for your freedom in the political and diplomatic battlefield here in Washington, D.C. And we will make sure that all these U.S. officials, all these congressmen and senators understand that the by African independence movement is a pure democratic civilian uprising against injustice, the very same one that we had in the United States when we declared our independence from the British 200 years ago. On a personal level, uh, I knew I had to get involved in this struggle, not only because of my belief in the Biafran cause, but my belief in His Excellency, the Prime Minister Simon Ekba. As I got to know the Prime Minister, I could see that he has remarkable leadership qualities and vision. And I knew that instinctively that he was a man of destiny and that he will have a very important um, impact in Africa uh, in the years to come. And I thought it was a personal duty uh, to assist him. 
already the prime minister has made uh, remarkable progress and has outsmarted uh, the Nigerian system in many ways. The prime minister has done this with the self-referendum. He has done this with opening uh, diplomatic liaison offices around the world. And I think by establishing a proper Biafran lobby in Washington, D.C., the prime minister has delivered his master stroke. And if you can uh, look at the Nigerian media and the social media, uh, you will see that this is something that's been uh, highly publicized. And I think this is because they understand the moment that the United States starts to gain uh, more support for the Biafran cause, it will be uh, a game changer. Because when the United States leads, other countries follow. Congressman Moran and myself are your voice to the U.S. Congress, your voice to the White House, your voice to the State Department, your voice to the highest offices in this great land. And we will not stop until victory is achieved. Long live a free, independent, and sovereign Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that brilliant speech there. Layas. We are happy to have you on board, and uh, we have a lot of things to do together. Thank you. Uh, this particular, uh, you know, appearance today is just to present you to the Biafrans in the United States. As I made my promise, I have fulfilled it. It is now that we go out there and do what we know how to do best for the interest Thank of Biafra. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank it's our honor, and we look forward to uh, serving you in the cause. Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Prime Thank Minister. You. It was a pleasure to see you again. Thank you. Look Thank forward you. to working with you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Timora. Thank you.